Hi, I'm Rich Efron. This is this week's Delaware State Chamber of Commerce Legislative Minute. Discuss two things today. One is where we are with workers' compensation, and secondly, the, about, talk about the data center down in Newark. Workers' compensation, the uh, rating bureau came back to the insurance commissioner's office, recommended a 40% increase. The independent actuary hired by the insurance commissioner's office came back with a, when we ran out the numbers, about a 20% increase, 19, 20%. Now we're waiting to hear from the actuary who represents the uh, ratepayers. Uh, in the legislation last year, we put a requirement that there be an attorney who would be independent and represent the ratepayers or our members. Uh, and he has uh, gone ahead and hired an uh, independent actuary, so we're waiting for that number. On top of all that, because of the questions about the data and the data that was used, and there's still a lot of questions, the insurance commissioner has extended her decision for 90 days past the usually made in November, now it'll be made in the middle of January. It could be extended even further if we can't uh, figure out uh, the, how, we, how we've used the data. Uh, fact of the matter is we're going to wait for the ratepayers actuary, but we believe the increase should not be anywhere near 20%. Uh, it's the highest in the nation. The next highest we can find, I believe, is Missouri, which was 11%. So we'll keep working at it. We'll keep chipping away. We're still looking at areas where we think we can do better in the state of Delaware. Uh, uh, we're going to send out an update to all the members this week, let them know where we are. But this is an issue we're going to obviously keep an eye on, and we will keep you informed. On the data center, things seem to be moving forward and getting a little bit better. Uh, this is a, uh, one of the things that the people found, have found out. It's a LEED certified uh, power plant. It's a very, and it's EPA, one recognizes it as, an, as a LEED certified power plant, which is top of the line. You can't do anything better than that. Also, it's defined as a small power plant. It's not what most people would, uh, would think of a power plant such as Indian River. The other thing that's important is, besides the jobs, and there will be 3,000 construction jobs over three years, uh, when they're up and running, there'll be at least 250 people working at the plant, not including another 50 part-timers and, and people in the, in the area who obviously will uh, be working because the plant's there. Uh, and the plant will produce about $4.1 million a year in annual revenue in the state of Delaware. More important, $5.1 million in taxes will be paid to the Christina School District. This is an important project for not only for, for, uh, for Newark but, and the University of Delaware. It's important for the state of Delaware. We, we support it. We support it strongly. Uh, this is what we call the new integrated manufacturing. This is direction that the world manufacturing processes are moving in. It's important that Delaware move in that direction. Anyway, that's it for this week. Uh, uh, we'll be back next week with more updates. Thank you very much.